Everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Okay. Welcome once again. I know it's Friday. I know you're tired, <laughs> but I thank you for being here. I know it's difficult. So, well, let's try to do um, one final effort this week. And uh, that's what we're here for. Um, let me just get everything ready for you. I think it's over here. I lost the slide. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Just going full screen now, and I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. Okay, you have it right there. Can everybody see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you. All right, um, let's begin. As usual, I have to call your names first. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Rosa. Um, I have a question. Examen de medio periodo. Ah, okay. Yeah, no problem. Today we're going to solve it. Hoy lo resolvemos. Okay. No, no hay problema. Okay. All right, let's begin. Just give me a second. I have to call the attendance now. Okay, if you hear your name, please let me know. Alejandra Cristina Magaña. Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle Flores. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Estefani Cortez de Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juárez. Jose Luis Hernández Flores. Present. Thank you. Josué Isaías Najaro Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lilian Estela Portillo García. I'm here. Thank you. Luis Fernando Enrique Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Thank you. Aristides Murcia. I am here. Thank you. Olivia Emanuel Osorio Panameño. Present teacher. Thank you. Paola Maria Alvarado Cerón. Present. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Walter René Quintanilla González. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Jenny Maritza Sánchez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Just in case um, any of you joined the class after I called their name, I'm going to do it again. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Astrid Michelle Flores Escobar. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Yasmin Vanessa Sosa Juarez. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Okay. All right. So what are we going to do here? Well, we have this activity. Ah, sorry. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is Inglés Pre Avanzado Modulo 2, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. This is session number eight, and today is January 27th of 2023. Okay. So what's next? Well, just some practice exercise. Take a good look. You have love it or leave it. What are you going to do here? First, complete speakers, speaker A's questions with four things you would not like to do. 
use ideas in the box or your own ideas. Okay. So the ideas in the box are learn to play the accordion, like the person in the picture, learn clothing design, learn how to repair watches, study sociology, take a class in personal finance, take a cooking class. Okay, so again, what are you going to do? First, you need to complete speaker A's questions with four things you would not like to do. OK, then you have to use ideas in the box or your own ideas. So I'm going to give you five minutes individually. You have to work individually. And I want you to complete uh, the first part of the four conversations, like in the example. Do you want to learn to play the accordion? But I want you to choose, remember, four things that you would not like to do, OK? You have to choose four things that you would not like to do. Now, you can use the ideas in the box or you can use any other ideas, okay? No problem. But right now, I want you to write the four questions. Do you want to? That's the first one. The second one is, would you like to? Do you want to? And would you like to, okay? And like this, do you want to learn to play the accordion? You can say, do you want to study sociology? Do you want to take a cooking class? Would you like to learn clothing design, etc.? Again, the ideas in the box are just that, ideas. You can come up with anything else, OK? Just remember, you have to ask four questions. You have to include four activities right there that you will not like to do. After that, we're going to work together, and you're going to ask each other. And you're going to give answers like, like the one in B, for example. Do you want to learn to play the accordion? Maybe the other person will say, I'd rather not. I would prefer to take a cooking class. Or you can say, I'd prefer not to. I'd rather take a cooking class or any other activity that you can think of. So I'm going to give you five minutes starting right now. And I want you to write the questions. OK, let's begin. Five minutes. And after that, we check what you have, and we're going to work together. Remember, don't write the answers, only the questions. Sandra Cecilia is here. OK, thank you, Sandra. Taking the attendance now.
Okay, time is up. Here we go. Who wants to begin? You only need to ask one of the questions, okay? But you need to select which question you're going to ask. And also you need to select one of your classmates. We're going to start with Lilian and Stella. Okay, so let's see, Lilian, I'm going to write your name here. <laughs> and I'm going to take uh, registry of the ones who are participating because that's going to help us, you know, not to repeat people. So Lilian, I want you to select one of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, ever? Ever. Okay. All right. So, um, Ever, are you here? Yes, teacher. I am. Okay. I am. Great. So, Lillian, I want you to ask Ever your question. Ever, pay close attention and provide an answer. For example, she can ask you, like in the example here, do you want to learn to play the accordion? I want you to refuse every time, everybody. When they ask you the question, you say no. You can say, I would rather not. And then state the preference. You say, I would prefer to take a cooking class. Or you can say, I'd prefer not to. I'd rather take a cooking class. You state the preference. After that, Ever will ask one of the questions to another classmate so that everybody will participate. Okay, Lilian, let's begin. Okay, okay. Ever, would you like to watch some series in Netflix? I'd rather not. I will, I'd like to um, go to make exercise. Okay, you say I'd prefer to do some exercise. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Ever. Now, Ever, you need to choose someone. And now you ask your question. I'll say Isaias. Isaias, okay. All right, what's your question? Would you like to make some um, pizza? Would you like to make some pizza? Okay. Um, I'd rather not. I prefer to eat a hamburger. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So <laughs> I'm going to just continue here ever. Then Jose Isaias. Just to have a registry of participants. Okay. Josue, your turn. Please choose one of your questions and choose one of your classmates, please. Okay, uh, uh, Jose Luis. Jose Luis. Do you want to call her again? Do you want to call her again? What, an ex-girlfriend? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Jose Luis, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I prefer not to. Uh -huh. I prefer not to. Uh, I'd rather... Uh, what? Not know. call her? <laughs> I'd rather not call her. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. I'd rather not call her. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Jose Luis, uh, choose someone and ask a question, please. Okay, um, uh, Gladys Imelda. Okay, Gladys Imelda. Do you want to learn to play the guitar? I prefer not to. I rather take, I prefer, I rather and learn to play piano. I'd rather learn to play the piano. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much, Jose Luis. Now, Gladys, please choose someone. Just remember not to, uh, don't choose the same people who have participated. Cuando ya no queda nadie más, el último le va a preguntar a Lilian. 
Okay, Gladys, please choose a classmate. Oh. Luis Fernando. Luis Fernando, okay. Luis yes. Fernando. I like to study psychology. I prefer not to. I rather to study how to repair watches. Okay, but one thing. I'd rather. I rather how repair watches. The thing is the verb. Let's see. You say I'd rather learn. Okay, how to repair watches. Okay. The thing is, just I'd remember rather... that after rather, we don't use to. Mm -mm, that will be a mistake. Yes. So I'd rather learn. I'd rather learn to. I rather learn how to repair watches. Okay, good. But if you use prefer, then you used to. I'd prefer to learn how to repair repair watches. Okay. 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 Thank you. Now, Luis Fernando, uh, your turn. Please choose someone from the class. Uh, Paola Maria. Paola Maria. Okay. Uh, do you want to take a class on personal finance? On personal finance? Finance. Okay. Uh, I prefer not. I'd rather uh, take a cooking class. Okay, I'd rather take a cooking class. Remember that when you provide a short answer using prefer, you have to use to. I'd prefer not to. If you use rather, you don't use it. Just I'd rather not, just like that. But if you use prefer, you say I'd prefer not to. You have to use the preposition also. Okay, thank you, Paola. And thank you, uh, Luis Fernando. Paola, please, I want you to choose someone. Claudia Janet. Claudia Janet. Uh -huh. uh, would you like to study uh, psychology? Psychology. Psychology. Uh -huh. I prefer not to. I read study. Rather? I read study um, mathematics. 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 Okay, I'd rather study mathematics. Okay, thank you, Paola. And Claudia, please choose someone. Yeah, I choose. Um, Olivia Osorio. Olivia, okay. Do you want to visit Canada? Do you want to visit Canada? I prefer not. Not to. I rather uh, visit uh, United States. Okay, good. I prefer not to. I rather visit the United States. Good. Thank you, Claudia. Now, Olivia, please choose someone. Except the people who have already participated. Mm -hmm. Olivia? Oh. <laughs> Sandra Cecilia. Sandra Cecilia, okay. Uh, Sandra. Would you like to take a cooking class? Would you like to take a cooking class? I'd prefer to eat the food, okay. No, you don't want to cook the food, you want to eat it. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, thank you, Olivia. Now, Sandra, your turn, please choose someone. Walter. 
Walter. Okay, Walter. Uh, would you like to uh, study uh, sociology? Would you like to study sociology? Uh, I ra rather not. I prefer. Uh, I prefer to um, prepare watches. I prefer to learn how to repair watches, right? Okay. 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 All right. Thank you, Sandra. Now, Walter, please choose someone. Okay. Rosa Esmeralda. Rosa Esmeralda. Okay. Uh, would you like to watch a movie? Uh, I prefer to to watch uh, to watch table. I prefer to watch table. I don't understand the last word. Is that, uh, you mean uh, you prefer to watch TV probably or a TV series? Uh, I prefer to mm -hmm. watch uh, mm -hmm. Netflix. To watch what, Netflix? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I prefer to watch Netflix. Okay, good. There are movies on Netflix too. Okay, well, thank you. Um, Walter, Rosa, your turn, please. Uh, you could choose Jenny Sanchez. Jenny Sanchez uh huh. Yeah, Jenny Sanchez hasn't participated. Uh, do you do you want to learn to play the computer? Do you I'm want sorry? to learn to play the what? Sorry. The computer. Okay. Do you want to learn how to use the computer? Okay. Repeat me, please. Do you want? Do you want? It's. I think. I believe it's. Do you want to um, learn to use a computer? The computer. Uh -huh. I rather not. I would prefer. Stay on free a lighter libre Ah, to be outdoors. To be outdoor with my okay. family. Okay. I prefer to be outdoors with my family. Okay. Yeah. So Jenny, choose someone, please. I don't know who. <laughs> you don't know who. Let's see. There is um Jasmine Vanessa, Alejandra Magaña also. Uh, there is um, Carlos Alfredo, I believe. Jasmine Vanessa. Jasmine Vanessa, okay. Do you want to take a class in personal finance? Personal finance. Finance. Mm, finance, yeah. Do you want to take a class in personal finance? Jasmine? Jasmine. Hi. Hi. Okay, Jasmine. Hello. Uh, I rather not. Mm -hmm. I pray or sleep. I the uh, I rather sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very direct. Okay, well, I'd rather sleep. I'd rather take a nap. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, all right, Jasmine, I want you to choose someone, please. Carlos. Carlos, Carlos Alfredo. Okay. Would you like, would you like to travel around the world? Carlos?
Carlos, you have an open invitation to travel around the world. Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me, Carlos? It appears Carlos is having trouble with his microphone. Not listening. I don't know, I can't hear anything. Carlos, can you hear me? Of course, teacher. Okay, all can right. Can you listen to me? I can listen to you. Okay, so I can hear you now. Um, and number three, right so or whatever. The, no, the question was, the question for you was, would you like to travel around the world? Hello. I prefer. <laughs> uh -huh, I, I prefer. prefer. I prefer not to start because um, I I would prefer not travel around the world. Okay, and what would you prefer to do instead? I would. I would prefer to. Uh, to know some interesting people in my country. Okay, if you would like to meet some interesting people in this country. Okay, all right, sounds good. Carlos, I believe you have to ask the last one. No, not the last one. We have um, Alejandra Magaña, okay? Please ask Alejandra your question. Or Alejandra, you can probably ask, let's do something, okay? Just to speed things up. Um, Alejandra, can you hear me? Alejandra Magaña? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Um, can you ask Lillian your question? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Uh, do you want to listen to some music with me? Okay. Can do you, you want to listen? It, please. Uh -huh. Hello. Okay. So, do you want to listen to some music with me? I rather not. I prefer to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> okay. This this answer is just like just like Jasmine's answer. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now we finished this. We went full full circle. Okay. Thank you everybody for your participation. I believe everybody had a chance to participate, right? I think everybody could could say something. Okay. All right. Going back to this. Now, what are we going to do here? Take a good look. In this class, you will listen to how people give some advice. You will see by plus a gerund in context. So what about this? It's a conversation. Maybe I should try that. Okay. So maybe I should try that. I need two volunteers, one boy and one girl to help me read this conversation, please. Who wants to participate? Okay, Jose Luis and Gladys. Okay. All right. Um, Jose Luis, you're going to be Wong Yu. And Gladys, you're going to be Kelly. Please, let's do this. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronu pronunciation difficult. I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> no, I am in French, in French. <laughs> Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. 
I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Mm. Maybe I should try something like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Wong Yu says, so how's your French class going? Kelly says, not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Wong Yu says, well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. Now look at this. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. Kelly says, that's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. Wong Yu says, I learn new English word best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. And Kelly says, hmm, maybe I should try something like that. She's holding a book. So, um, I studied some French some years ago. If I'm not mistaken, this is ready to speak. Prêt à parler. So, ready to speak in French. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure. So you can go to Google Translate. <laughs> so um, that's the thing. By the end of this section, participants will learn how to describe how to do things using by plus a gerund. That's uh, lesson objective 3.8. And here's the grammar focus, okay? It's grammar focus 3.9. Maybe I should try that. And uh, uh, knowledge check, 3.10. So here's what we're going to do. Take a look. You use by plus a gerund to describe how to do things. Okay. When you want to explain how to do something, you can use by and a gerund. That means you have to use by and a word in ing. Okay. So you have some examples. Take a look. You could improve, puedes mejorar, you could improve your accent. Then the question is, how? How can you improve your accent? And the answer is by listening to language CDs. That's how. Ahí expresa usted cómo puede mejorar el acento. You could improve your accent. How? By listening to language CDs. So by using the, uh, this, this formula, by and the gerund, you can explain how to do something, okay? Another example, I learn new words best. How? How do you learn new words best? By writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things, okay? The best way to learn slang, and you know slang is informal, language, it's, it's English, of course, but informally, the best way to learn slang is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies, okay? I can tell you, for example, here, let's take a look, something that has worked for me very well, I, well, I have learned English, a lot of people ask me, not, not a lot of people, but some people ask me sometimes, hey, Ivan, how did you learn English? And my answer is usually this, I have learned English, and then I have to explain how, by doing things that I enjoy in English. That's how. Do you like to watch videos? Good, watch videos in English. Do you like to read? Okay, read, but do it in English. Do you like cartoons? Okay, watch cartoons, but also do it in English. That's the key. Do you like video games? Great, play the video game. Go to the settings and make sure it's on English. That's how you learn English. So, I have learned English by doing things that I enjoy in English. That's the idea.
You can go to on YouTube, for example, you can watch videos. If you like to watch videos about sports, then watch videos about sports. Just make sure the videos are in English. That's the thing. That's the key. That, that's what works for me. So some advice for you. But it's also an example. I have learned English. How? By doing things that I enjoy. All in English. You can say, I have increased my vocabulary by reading articles in English. I can say that. I have improved my listening skills by listening to native speakers on YouTube. That's another one. And that's true. That's what I have done. So the idea is you use by and a verb in ing to explain how to do something. OK? Now, this is what we're going to do. This is uh, Knowledge Check 3.10. OK, this is in the platform. So everybody pay close attention. You have probably done this by now. So uh, complete the phrases in column A with information in column B. More than one answer is possible. OK, then compare with a partner. So sometimes you can choose more than one. So here we go. What about number one? You can improve your accent. How can you improve your accent? Volunteers. Carlos Alfredo. I I, I can I cannot hear you, Carlos. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I just hear like a muffled voice, like sounds like that. Um, do you have a microphone near? Can you listen to me? Or... I can. I can. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. There's no a, a trouble with my spill of my internet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, the letter F by watching American movies. Okay, yeah, you can improve your accent by uh, watching American movies. You will improve your, your American English accent, mostly. <laughs> okay, there you go. That, that's a possible answer. Very good. Okay, uh, what I have here is you can improve your accent. Um, I have a different answer by talking to native English speaker, but your answer is also valid. Okay, so yeah, that's a way, you know, to improve your accent. Gladys, number two. A good way to learn idioms, ah, and by the way, idioms, that's another word, okay? Remember that idioms, idiom uh, doesn't mean idioma, okay? It's, it's different, okay? An idiom is a phrase or a sentence. Yeah, a sentence or a phrase with a special meaning okay do you know any idioms in english for example when they say it's raining cats and dogs okay that's an idiom rain cats and dogs not literally of course right that means that it's raining really hard okay there, there's heavy rain right now that's an example of an idiom. Idioms exist in every language, by the way. We use them in El Salvador too. When you say, for example, hey, mira, ya voy a caer. Okay, that's an idiomatic expression in Spanish because you don't have to take the literal meaning of it. No, that means I'm going to arrive, right? So it's a sentence or a phrase with a special meaning. So number two, uh, Gladys, a good way to learn idioms is... Letter B, by talking to native English speakers. By talking to native English speakers, yeah, 
Okay, also letter F, by watching American movies, you can learn idioms by watching movies and also by talking to native speakers. Good, thank you. Number three, volunteer, please, raise your hand. Lillian, students can become better writers? By doing translation exercises. By doing translation exercises, yeah. Okay, yeah, doing translation exercises sure helps you with your writing um, skills. I have a different answer, but yours is valid. I have um, letter I by writing to English speaking pen pals. Okay, nowadays, well, we don't have pen pals, okay, we just send emails or we communicate through social media. But yeah, Jasmine Vanessa. N number four, please. A good way to learn new vocabulary is? Um, oh, I think we have connection problems. You hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. By studying a learner's dictionary. By studying a learner's dictionary, yeah. Okay, I have that. Letter D and also letter A by doing translation exercises. Then you also learn new vocabulary. Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, number five. Claudia, people can become faster readers. By reading magazines in English. By reading magazines in English. Okay, that is good. Thank you very much. Uh, number six, raise your hands, please. Jenny Sanchez, number six, one way of practicing conversation is? Letter uh, J. Letter J, by joining a cafe conversation group. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. Also letter E, which is by role playing with a partner. Letter H also by talking to yourself in the shower, <laughs> okay. Kind of, okay, it's a comical, but all right. Okay, good. Thank you, Jenny. Number seven, who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Sandra Cecilia, you can, no, sorry. Yeah, number seven, you can learn to use grammar correctly. By doing translation exercises. Yeah. By doing translation exercises, yeah, that's one, correct. I also have letter G by having a private tutor, but letter A, your answer is good. Okay, great, thank you. Jasmine Vanessa, do you want to uh, take number eight or do you have a question? Um, by practicing. Ah, okay, N number eight, right? The best way to develop self-confidence, right? In speaking English is? By practicing in your English class. By practicing in your English class, okay, you can do that. Is it here, by the way, by practicing your English class? I don't think it's here, but yeah, good answer. Okay, <laughs> it's your own answer. Great. Um, I have letter E by role playing with a partner. Okay, that could be it. Very good. Now, um, I just want you to to be clear and well, I want to, I want all of us to be clear on this, right? We use by and then a verb in ing to explain how you do something. We have a chat entry. Okay, Rosa says, I need help with the exam. Okay, no problem, don't worry. We're going to check that. Okay, don't worry. Okay, um, we have 15 minutes. So um, as I promised, we're going to take a look at the exam right here, the midterm. Okay, here we go. So the first part is a listening exercise. Give me a second. I'm going to just open it twice just to make sure I can show uh, I can show it without showing the answers. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, great. Oh man. Okay. Anyway, so. Here we go, there's a listening part. 
listening says instructions, listen to the conversations, check the correct answers. So let's listen to it. I'm going to play it once. You have probably done this. So after listening to it, we're going to check answers. Let's listen. I don't think this is the right restaurant, Augusto. Can you hear that? Okay. It yes. doesn't look very good. I'm sure this is the one. I know it doesn't look great, but the menu looks interesting. But look, that waiter's wearing a horrible shirt. Clara, maybe he likes bright colors. I don't mean the colors. There's a huge tear in it, and it doesn't look clean. Yeah, actually, I see what you mean. And look at this tablecloth. It's badly stained. It looks like someone spilled coffee all over it. And my glass is chipped. I could cut myself. Let's get out of here. Four. Okay. Let's continue. Hello? Hello, Mr. Jones. This is Tina, the new tenant in 2C. Um, the refrigerator makes a loud noise and it keeps leaking all over the floor. And another thing, the whole apartment needs to be repainted. I don't understand. You didn't point out any of this when you looked at the apartment last week. Well, I didn't notice the refrigerator then because I hadn't turned it on. But I thought you said you would paint the entire apartment before I moved in. Yes, okay. I'll come over right now. Okay, so... Um, I'm just going to read it here and then you tell me the answer. The first one is Clara tells Augusto. What does she say? Raise your hand, please. You can give me the answer, Gladys. The waiter's shirt is ugly. The waiter's shirt is ugly. That's right. Okay, number two. Thank you. Rosa, one of Tina's complaints to her landlord is that. Um, the the refrigerator le leaks. Leaks. The refrigerator leaks. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Okay, listening to. We're going to listen to it and we're going to check answers. One. Are you going to buy that can of hairspray? Uh, yeah, Bob, I am. Why? Because those spray cans contain CFCs, which deplete the ozone layer. What does that mean? Well, many scientists think global warming is caused by the destruction of the ozone layer, and that the increase in skin cancer is due to the reduction in ozone. Spray cans cause all that? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. Not using spray cans is just one thing you can do. Another way to preserve the ozone layer is to plant trees. But the best way is to cut down on air pollution by reducing the number of cars. Well, why don't you spend your energy encouraging people to use public transportation instead? Don't worry. I'm working on that, too. Two. You know, I get so tired of being told not to use my car. I just saw a TV show about global warming, and this man said that people who have cars are selfish. Well, many problems have been caused by pollution from heavy traffic. Yes, but what am I supposed to do? There's only one bus a day to the city where I work, and it leaves at noon. I have to be at work early in the morning. I know how you feel, Sonia, but one thing to do about it is to live closer to where you work. What? Live in all that pollution? No thanks. Three. I hate my job. I think I need to go back to school. Good for you, Lynn. What do you want to study? Well, I can't decide between environmental science and nutritional science. Well, would you prefer to work on the environment or specialize in diet and health when you graduate? I'm worried about how environmental problems affect people's health. For example, chemicals are being pumped into the river near where I live. I'm sure the fish farms are being contaminated by chemicals. 
Sounds like environmental science is for you. 4. Tom, did you see what's being offered this summer? I'm thinking about registering for a class. Yeah, I've already registered. I'm taking astronomy. Hey, why don't you join me, Sally? It'll be fun. Well, I'd prefer to take something more useful. I was considering either auto repair or exercise science. You know, a better way to learn about auto repair is by studying car repair manuals. You can check them out of the library instead of spending money on a class. Yeah, I could try that first. So then I think I'll register for the exercise science class. I've always wanted to learn about fitness. Okay, let's check answers. Um, I believe someone was raising their hand. That was Olivia. Olivia, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Participate. Okay, great. Let's go there. So, um, Let's see. Number one, to stop depleting the ozone layer, Bob recommends. What does he recommend? Reducing pollution. Reducing pollution. Yeah, that's right. Very good. She's going to. Okay, uh, number two. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Uh, let's see. Jenny Sanchez and then Jasmine Vanessa. Jenny Sanchez, number two. Sonia is upset because. People say she's selfish. Because people say she's selfish. That's right. Very good. Jasmine, number three. Lynn is most interested in how? Pollution causes health problems. Pollution causes health problems. That is correct. Very good. And number four, participant. Claudia, Sally is going to take a course in? Exercise science. Exercise science. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Those are the first. Okay, let's go over the second part, which will be here, I believe. Yeah, this. Okay, so complete the sentences. Let's go full screen, okay, so that we can see better. Okay, part one, instructions. Complete the sentences using these sentences using another form of the word in brackets. So these glasses have a scratch on the lens they are, who knows? Jenny. Scratched. They are scratched. Okay, correct. Okay, good. Number two, Gladys and then Rosa. Number two, my new car is dented. It has a? Dent. Dent, okay. It has a dent on the door. Okay, good. Uh, Rosa. Number three, there is a small leak in the aquarium. It is? Leaking. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. Um, who was next? I saw someone raising their hand. Number four. Sandra, look at the crack in that wall. It is? Cracked. Cracked. Okay, it is cracked. Thank you. Jasmine, number five. This dress is stained. There are several bad it's stains. Stains on it. Okay. Thank you. Part two instruction complete the sentences, use the correct form of need, and add any necessary words. Rosa, those towels are so dirty. They need, they need washing. Thank you. Number two, volunteer, please. Who can help me? Come on, let's do this. Okay, Gladys, the wastebasket in your bathroom is full. It needs to be. Needs to be. Whoops. Needs to be emptied. Thank you. Number three, the glass in the front yard looks extremely dry. It. Sandra. <laughs> It needs watering, okay? Number four, the microwave oven is broken. It? Who has this one? Gladys. 
again needs to be needs to be okay it needs to be replaced part two instructions complete the conversations with rather or prefer okay letter a if you want uh okay claudia then jasmine then rosa okay uh would you claudia Raven. rather okay would you rather learn the drums or the piano olivia okay not not olivia in this class <laughs> another olivia okay so uh rosa and so sorry jasmine jasmine well i'd prefer i'd prefer not to play the drums one day i'd like to join a jazz band so i guess rosa i'd i prefer prefer to find a good piano teacher how about you and then you have uh, who can tell me i think i'd uh carlos alfredo prefer. i'd prefer not learn either instrument are you sure remember that prefer needs two excuse me rather <laughs> rather okay okay yeah. i'd rather not learn either instrument i want to be a singer let's submit yeah there you go 20 points over there okay cool now if you'll excuse me i have to change this <laughs> because i i have already done this give me a second give me a second Luis Fernando. Yes, teacher. Do you want you to participate? Please, uh, could you please put the before screen? Uh, yeah, sure, in a second. Thank you. All right, but if I do that, <laughs> all the answers will appear again. Oh, no, wait, I have it here. Um, I hope I don't regret this. Let's see, complete the sentences. Okay. Which one did you need to watch or see? I'm going to scroll down slowly. Luis Fernando, did you have a question? No, sir. Just, oh, okay. I, 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 just uh, I just want to recheck my, ah, okay. my, my answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. So um, going back. Okay. Yeah, it worked. So here we go. Choose the correct word or phrase. Part one. Instructions. Choose the correct word or phrase. Uh, I can't make a phone call. My cell phone keeps. Rosa? Dying. Keeps dying. Dying. Okay. Keeps dying. Good. Thank you. Number two. The bottoms of my remote control don't work right. They keep... Jasmine. Sticking. They keep sticking. Good. Number three. My, th this printer is useless. It keeps. Anybody can answer. Come on. What do you have? Jasmine? Jamming. Keeps jamming. OK. All right, number four. Let's do something because of the time, because it's nine by now. So I want you, you can answer the questions. You don't need to raise your hand. We're going to make an exception. If you just want to participate and say it, you can do it. So what about number four? My internet service is driving me crazy. The connection keeps. Dropping. Yep. Keeps dropping. Okay. Number five, my desk light keeps. Flickering. 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 Okay. Part two. Choose the correct word phrase. I am very concerned about. What do you have? Famine. The famine. Okay. It's terrible that millions of people don't have enough food to eat. Number two. When a country suffers from. Overpopulation. Overpopulation. There often just aren't enough jobs for all its citizens. Good. Number three. If Greg showed his parents some courtesy, courtesy, okay, they all might get along better. And just being Vanessa. Number four. Cooperation. I didn't learn cooperation. 
on my own. I learned it by playing team sports. Submitting, and there you go, 20 over 20. Okay, let me check the next one. It's also writing. Oh, but this is pretty long. Okay, let me problem right here. Just give me a second. Okay, just a moment. Just going to. Just in order not to show the answers, I need to delete them. Okay, quickly. Here we go. Instructions choose from the following options and write an appropriate solution and complete the sentences using infinitive phrases. And wasteful spending, walk every day and eat fresh vegetables, donate clothing and food, and start recycling programs. So, example, one way to help the poor is to donate clothing and food. Okay. So what about number two? The best ways to avoid cancer are? To walk every day and eat fresh vegetables. To walk every day and eat fresh vegetables. Okay. Now, let me tell you. En este ejercicio se pone un poquito, digamos, tricky la cuestión porque hay algunas que comienzan con mayúscula, otras que no comienzan con mayúscula. Entonces, así está programado. De manera que, por ejemplo, esta tendría que comenzar con T mayúscula. Si no, se la va a poner mala. De acuerdo. Es to walk every day. Uh -huh. Mayúscula y me la aceptó. Con mayúscula. Ya. Yeah. Ajá, con mayúscula hay que ponerla. Uh -huh. Ajá, esta en particular sí va con mayúscula. To walk every day and eat fresh vegetables. What about number two? One way to end government corruption is. To end wasteful spending. To end wasteful spending. Ok, hay que ponerle puntito al final también. Si no, lo toma malo. To end wasteful spending. Number three, the best way to reduce trash is? To start recycling programs. To start recycling programs. Okay, good. I'm going to go over here. Okay, part two. Again, okay, choose from the following options and write suitable information to complete the sentences. You have to use not plus by in a gerund. This is what we learned today. Write a short story. Uh, don't stay home, go out. Don't take a class, go out to the clubs and avoid sugary, high fat foods. Remember, you have to use not only if necessary. Number one, a good way to spend a rainy weekend is? By writing a short story. By writing a short story. Yeah, that's one. Number two, the best way to eat healthily is? By avoiding sugary, high-fat food. By avoiding sugary, high-fat food. Okay. And number three, you can learn to dance better. Not by taking a class, but doing out to the club. Yeah, not by taking a class, but by going out to the clubs. Okay, period at the end of each of them. Okay, otherwise it will be taken as incorrect okay and finally we have the reading section well you have to read this okay so we're going to just do it here very quickly because i know it's time teacher yes esa parte me la puso mala la que acabamos de pasar no sé ah, de verdad. Sí. vamos a ver aquí rapidín veamos Como les comentaba, ¿verdad? En algunas ocasiones, por ejemplo, en esta, yo creo que si la pongo, digamos, con minúscula, vamos a hacer un experimento. No, siempre me la tomo bueno. <risa> bueno, to walk every day and eat fresh vegetables. Siempre asegúrense, ¿verdad? Que esté mm -hmm. escrito exactamente como debe ser. Es decir, que no se nos vaya ninguna letra de más o que nos falte alguna. Que no haya un doble espacio. Por ejemplo, a veces entre las palabras dejamos doble espacio o dejamos un espacio al principio, eso nos puede afectar, o dejamos un espacio al final, eso también nos puede afectar, o no le pusimos el punto final, eso puede afectar también. Pero si gusta, veamos aquí. aquí. Uh, one way to end government corruption is to end wasteful spending, period. Yes. I have a question. Uh, yes. I have a, the question is about uh, two questions. This part two. Part two. Sí. You mean part B? 
Yeah. Ajá. ¿Cuáles serían? Part two. Part two. Right here? No. no I don't um, understand. Uh, Which exercise is it? A? D. D. D Writing. part two. Part two. Okay. Veamos acá. ¿Cuáles le han salido incorrectas? The best way to eat heritage is by okay. avoid. By avoiding sugary, high fat uh, foods. Um, by avoiding sugary, high fat foods. Que no les vaya a faltar aquí el guión. Hyphen. Ok. Si no se las toma mal. By avoiding sugary high fat foods. It started with or not. I'm sorry? The sounds were um, starting with capital letters. Not necessarily. No. Okay. Uh, letter B. Uh, to have question is but uh party one uh Which? question two letter d uh-huh part uh, one what? question two question one way two. to end government corruption is to end wasteful spending yeah. Ahí está. to end wasteful spending okay thank you mm -hmm. all right cool so um, just the last part, I'm sorry, I know it's 9.10. Developing good study habits. Good study habits can help you learn better and make homework less stressful. These ideas are helpful for managing homework and study time. So for each hour you spend in class, spend one to two hours studying outside of class. Keep track of successes and problems. What problems have you had in your classes? How did you solve them? Are there any new solutions or strategies that work for you? Second one. Start working on major projects as soon as they are assigned. Write all homework assignments, test dates, and assignment deadlines in the calendar. Make a schedule every week for each day's homework, but be sure to leave time for rest and recreation. Take throw off notes about important ideas in your reading. Use different colored file folders to organize your notes for each class. Review your notes regularly. By discovering what techniques are best for you, you can set goals, identify problems, find appropriate solutions, and take the stress out of homework. So now that we have taken a look at it, pretty sure you have done this before. Here we go. Uh, true or false, that's the last part. Let's check. So you can reduce stress by having good study habits. Is that true or false? Jasmine? It's true. It is true, totally. Number two, it doesn't matter what time of the day you study. According to the article, is it true or false? Jenny Sanchez. False. False, there you go. Thank you. If you think about what you want to study on a particular day, you're wasting your time, according to the article. Sandra. False. False. Okay, good. Number four, the best time to study for a test is the night before it is given. According to the article, what do we have? Jasmine. Teacher, I have a I have question. Yes, what's up? Uh, normally, if uh, um, Benji. I'm sorry? Uh, in, um, Lleva ING al final, ¿va? El, ¿Qué palabra? Spend. 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 ¿En dónde está? Um, the, ¿Cuál era el, el ejercicio anterior? No. Yeah. Ah, spending. Sí. Ok. Spending. No lleva punto al final. Yo creo que sí, todas llevan un punto al final. 
Uh, igual me sigue poniendo mal. De verdad, vamos a ver. ¿Segura que todo está escrito correctamente? Sí. To end wasteful spending. Sí, o sea, no, no hay ni, se, ni espacios de más. De verdad. Ya. Yeah. No, sí, ahí sí no le sabría decir. Si está escrito igualita, tendría que salirle correcta. To end wasteful spending. I'm sorry. Um, Tal vez si nos puede compartir pantalla, ¿se podrá? Sí, se puede. Ok, veamos ahí rapidín. Ok. Permítame. Ok. Ahí le envío al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Al grupo. Quiero ver. Bueno, no sé si quiere que lo copie en el chat de Zoom. Um, no, no, está bien. Puede ser el grupo de WhatsApp. Solo que pensé que me iba a compartir la pantalla. Es decir, compartir la pantalla por medio de Zoom. Pero si lo pone ahí también no hay problema. Ok, entonces... Pero no... No veo que haya caído nada. Pero la carita. Ok. Ahí está. La palabra wasteful le ha puesto una R después de la E. Ah... Uh... O sea que no tiene que llevar. No, no lleva. Es wasteful. Sin R. Sin R. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, just to finish this quickly. I know it's late. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, here, very quickly. Going back to the reading. Okay, so... Um, the best night to study for a test is the night before it's given. According to the article, this is false. Number five, when you plan your study week, you should include some time for fun. According to the article, this is true. Okay. And finally, talking to yourself in a mirror is a good way to study. According to this, okay, apparently, yeah. So those are the answers right there. Everybody, remember to complete this tonight. You have to complete it tonight because they send the grades tomorrow morning, okay? So please, I want you to, well, you should have completed section number one, section number two, and section number three, and the midterm tonight, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, I know it's late, okay? But um, we finished this. Everybody, thank you for your attention. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for the effort. I know it's Friday. I know it's difficult. I'll see you Monday. Remember, next week we study from Monday to Thursday. No Friday. Okay, not anymore. So take good care and have a great weekend. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night.